everybody, Brian Morris here. I just wanted to go uh, through a little bit of something here. Um, uh, by now you may have seen my video for today and saw all the struggle. <clears throat> I, I guess I'm not really sure. I guess it's easier in hindsight to kind of see what's going on and what's a good trade and what's not. Um, but um, I, I wanted to show you something. So normally we would start trading around 8 o'clock. Right here at uh, 8.03 there was a setup here. It uh, was a double a double bottom was what I call it there, and um, went up for I call it eight ticks, which is what the system is supposed to. Sometimes I go for nine, but um, eight ticks. So there's one winner. Um, broke through all this. I actually took this trade, but I took it in the other direction because I was looking at more of a, a line bounce. I wasn't patient enough to see that this had broken support and had come down. It was a more likely a down play. So, you know, if you'd have been patient and played the rules, this was not an EMA bounce. Kind of looked like it could have been, but it clearly broke support and bounced back for a recharge, and there was one. Here's another one broke support over the EMA, bounced back. Uh, could have got a few ticks. What is that? Uh, 86.50 down to 85.25. So it was only five ticks. Uh, but then it came back. It was a loser. That's why I marked it with this little red, just so I could keep an eye on the loser. So there's it's two and one. Uh, and then there wasn't anything else until the market opens right here. Actually, it was right there. Market opens right there. Um, and then it gets to be a little choppy. You usually wait about 10 minutes. So if we wait 10 minutes and we move to 940, which is about right here, which is exactly right here, uh, we'll wait for, for more setups. Here, broke support, came up retraced, actually touched the EMA. He may bounce, go short, boom. Here was another example. Double bottom here. Um, actually, it was over here too. So it was, uh, and this was a little area. And this was an area of support. So it was pretty strong support. So looking for a move up. And there you go. Another one that was close to an EMA bounce, but definitely a um, kind of a double top with this situation right here. I didn't quite come up and touch this like this one did, but the tails are aligned. It was a little bit more of a risky trade, but it did work out. And I can't tell, Ellie. It, it may have touched that EMA. I can't quite tell. Um, then let's see. It broke through support. Came back up. Touched the EMA. EMA bounce. Go short. Tried to come back on a triple tail on us, but did come back down. Actually, that was uh, getting at 64 and 62, so it just hit. So hopefully it would have had no slippage and got filled at that exact tick. Then there's another one. You may bounce to the downside. Here's another. Um, I took that as a break of, even though we took this down, I took this as a break of uh, resistance. Came down for a recharge. Long here at 67 and got out at 69, 75, well, I mean, 8 ticks. And then we had another double bottom right here, big area of, of support right in this whole area here. Rode that back up again. This time it kept going. Uh, broke through resistance, recharged, go along at 73. And that one was a loser, which is why it's marked. But you could consider breaking this. Uh, I went to it retraced too far. But this one broke a resistance there. It's coming back down. Immediately went back up. And that one would have given you a one or two. 76. Yep. Yeah. That was 10 ticks available there. Another EMA bounce right here. Touched both EMAs. Back up. Um, this one was not a recharge, but it was an EMA bounce. Cause once this third candle is done and this fourth bar paints, that negates the recharge. But it was an EMA bounce play. So I took that back up, and that was a winner. 77.50. So it was 80.25. Got, uh, what was that, like 11 ticks out of that one. 
So this one broke resistance, broke resistance, or broke support, sorry, broke support. Came back up. Um, again, say so it just painted three bars. Next one was white. Get in at 65.50. And down we go. Another double bottom. Get back in here at 65.50 going long this time. And there you go. Probably could take this short here too. I didn't mark it for whatever reason. But it would have been a winner. 65.50 back short. A solid number there. Yeah, they gave you nine ticks. So I can go ahead and mark that one since I don't know why I missed that. And let's see. There we go. Another EMA bounce. Short. Make sure there's enough ticks. 67 needs to get to 65 and easily does. And these are insignificant here. We can get rid of these. These aren't part of what I'm doing. Which I think it was done here. So what is that last trade finished up at uh, 1014? So 1014 started at 8. So about 2 hours and call it 2 hours and 15 minutes. Probably 2 hours and 10 minutes. And let's see what we did. Let's count them up. Here's the 8 o'clock, so there's one, two, and one loser. Two wins, one loser. Back at three, so there's three winners, four winners, five winners, six winners, seven winners, eight winners, nine winners, nine and two losers, ten winners, eleven winners, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16. So we had 16 winners and 2 losers. So let's see what that is. 16 winners times 8 ticks, 5 points at $5 a tick, 640. 2 losers at 70 a piece, so we know that's 140. So what was that other number? Um, 40 times 16 minus. 140, $500 per contract. Takeout commissions, what is that? Uh, 18 trades times four and a half minus 500. So we get $419 net per contract. Just trading at two hours and 10 minutes or so. Or you could trade 10 contracts. And it, I always call it 200 and uh, 40 trading days. I mean, pretty good living there. <laughs> uh, could you do it? Absolutely. This is an everyday occurrence. Now, in real-time market, it's a lot more difficult to see. Sometimes these bars move pretty fast. It's hard to get in. There's lots of slippage. So some of those that had just eight ticks to give may have been losers. You just don't know. Um, sometimes with the entries, like for this one, you would have wanted to get short at 70. But maybe uh, maybe it triggers and then you don't get in because you thought, well, I missed it. But then it retraces back up just like this one did. And you like still get back in. You can get in at a better price and get you know eight ticks easily. So there there are different uh, different methods to how you can how you can do this. So that's really it for right now. I just wanted to um, show you that, um, you know, for anybody who doubts the system, now, you know, I had a very difficult day trading. I wasn't able to sit in front of my computer the entire day. It was kind of touch and go, which is why for me it was very choppy. And um, some of the time I was uh, doing a trailing stop on the second contract, which uh, it was very difficult to do sometimes. I don't know how often I'm going to keep doing that. That doesn't uh, seem to work out every time, especially when uh, you know I can get to eight ticks on one contract, but I'd rather get eight ticks on two contracts and just be done. Now I could write out that last contract, but then sometimes it gives you eight ticks and then just goes right back and you paid commission on that extra tick anyway, so uh, or that extra contract, so it doesn't even work out. So anyway, that's uh, just what I wanted to do right now. I just want to give you a little bit of an extra oomph. A little bit of an extra, uh, hey, for anybody doubting the system, anybody thinks that, you know, my trading is a little bit erratic, these trades follow the system. Now, you can trade like me, 
and take a little bit more risks. These are within the system exactly. There's really no deviation to these the way the system teaches you to trade. So if you follow the system, these are the trades that you should see. Now, were there more in here? Yeah, but this is during the market open and you can see from Uh, from market open right about here. So this was just five minutes worth of bars right here. Like this was just two minutes. I mean, it's pretty fast bars. Um, and there's lots of choppiness. There's some chop. There's some chop. I mean, some of these were would have been winning trades probably. Market open about right here. Um, I guess there was no trade here. There was a EMA bounce there that would have lost. Another EMA bounce there would have won. Double bottom would have won. So, I mean, but they move so fast, it's kind of hard to tell. So, anyway, that's it for, for this video. If you have any questions, uh, you can get a hold of me, make a comment below. Contact me on Twitter, storm underscore trader, uh, or contact me at thestormtrader at gmail.com.